good morning students yesterday you learnt about teeth tooth decay and hygiene of teeth you all have learnt that we have to take proper care of our teeth and if we do not take proper care of our teeth what will happen it will there will be tooth decay okay and how can you take care of the teeth you have to avoid eating too much of sweets okay and you have to brush your teeth daily in the morning and at night before going to the bed and if possible you should visit the dentist once in a year so uh, yesterday we were also talking about the salivary glands children if you remember i had told you that the how many uh, salivary glands are present in a human body in the pre yesterday i told you that in our human body you have got three pairs of salivary glands this i told you already yesterday you can see here in the figure also you have see 1 2 and 3 okay so you have got three pairs of salivary glands and what do this uh, three pairs of salivary gland do this three pairs of salivary gland secrete the saliva okay the uh, the saliva comes in the mouth now what happens is that uh, the salivary glands which secrete the saliva okay the saliva contains enzyme and what do enzymes do i have already told you about enzymes children what are enzymes enzymes are the chemical substances which makes any process faster okay so what do these enzymes do these enzymes break down the insoluble starch okay of the food into the soluble sugar that means whatever food that we are eating and in that food if there is starch now the starch is insoluble okay it is insoluble so what do these enzymes do these enzymes break down the starch into sugar and sugar is a soluble form and that means the uh, digestion that is the process of digestion begins from here itself see this is the initiation of digestion initiation of digestion means the beginning of digestion okay so uh, how can you feel this you can feel this children uh, see you all eat chapatis almost daily or you must have eaten bread also have you ever noticed that when you chew the chapati or the bread if you keep on chewing the chapati or the bread after some time it begins to taste sweet now what is the reason that after chewing for some time the chapati has turned sweet in taste so what is it what does it indicate it indicates that what is chapati made of chapati is made up of wheat and what do wheat contain wheat contains carbohydrate that means the chapati which contains and starch you all know children that starch is a form of carbohydrate okay so that means the chapati contains carbohydrate or you can say starch so what is happening is the starch of the chapati is converted into sugar why because in your mouth there is saliva saliva is present in the mouth and saliva contains enzymes and what do these enzymes do this enzyme is converting the starch which is present in the chapati into the sugar that is why you must have seen that the sugar uh, sorry uh, when you put the chapati in your mouth it starts tasting sweet uh, you can do one experiment one activity is shown here what have you done is you have taken see the effect of saliva on starch you have taken two test tube test tube a and test tube b okay and then you have uh, you have to fill test tube a with water half of the test tube with water and then you have to mix starch powder so that it becomes a starch solution okay starch powder to make it starch solution then from here you have to now this is starch solution now from this from this test tube you have to put the starch solution into this test tube that is test tube number b and then you have to put it back 
in test tube number b you have to add some saliva from your mouth clear children now after 5 to 6 minutes what you have to do you have to add iodine solution to this also and to this also now what will you observe you will observe that test tube a it is turning into blue black color you have already learned children in class 6 that, that what does it do starch solution plus iodine whenever iodine is put in a starch solution what happens it turns the color into blue black and here there was no change what is the reason that there is no change here the reason is that here also the test tube contains starch solution you have added iodine but you had also added your saliva okay you had added the saliva from your mouth so just now as i told you what did the saliva do since there was saliva from your mouth okay this saliva plus starch solution plus iodine as soon as you put the saliva in the starch solution the enzymes which are present in your saliva it changed the starch into sugar so that means here it has been already changed into sugar that is why the iodine solution did not turn blue black in color clear here you did not add any saliva there was only starch solution and iodine so that is why it turned blue black in color here since you had added saliva what did what did this do this saliva plus starch solution the saliva changed the starch solution into sugar so once it is turned into sugar you did not see any change in the iodine solution so i hope children that this much is clear to all of you and this questions these questions let us revise how does an amoeba form its food vacuole the type of teeth all these questions all the answers of these questions are given in the book okay so you will do this on your own so for the time being it's by children to all of you